Welcome to another video tutorial from Bellina Payroll. In this video, we explain how to create a new payroll in the Bellina system. Payrolls are created to store records and process transactions for a group of employees within an organization. Some organizations will only need to create one payroll. Others may decide to create a separate payroll for their executive payroll, a separate one for their general salary staff, one for weekly paid staff, contract workers, and other categories of staff. The data for each payroll is processed and stored separately. Changes made to the setup of one payroll does not affect another. Data or transactions entered into one payroll is stored independently. If a backup is taken, the payroll setup parameters, master file data and transactions for the payroll will be included from the inception of the payroll to date. To create a new payroll, go to the file menu from the payroll Human Resources or Time Control module, then click New. A window appears prompting you to enter the details for the new payroll. Here is what each field means. Name, enter a description for the payroll. For example, your organization's name, followed by the nature of the payroll, such as salaries, wages, or executive salaries. In this case, I'm going to create a payroll with the name Footers Investment Salaries. Type, choose how the employees in this payroll will be paid. Use the drop-down menu to select how the rate of pay is computed, whether it is by period, hour, or daily basis. Periods, set the number of payroll periods for the year. Common options include 12 for monthly payrolls, 26 for fortnightly payrolls, and 52 for weekly payrolls. In some years, there may be 51, 52 or even 53 weeks, depending on how paid it's for. Country. Select the country this payroll applies to. This will affect which country's tax tables will be applied in the payroll as well as license details. Start dates. Enter the start date for the first payroll period, for example, the 1st of January 2025. So the start date always has to be the 1st of January of that certain tax year. Copy files from. Tick this checkbox if you want to copy settings from an existing payroll. Details on how this is done is covered comprehensively in the Bellina Help and Manual. Tax method. Select the tax method to apply in this payroll. You can choose from final deduction system, FDS forecast, FDS average, or PAYE methods. We have been recommending the FDS average for current payrolls. Currency type. Specify the default currency for this payroll. If your payroll is multi-currency, USD is commonly used as the base currency. I am going to select United States dollar as my default currency for my payroll. Once all the details are correctly entered, click OK to create the payroll. There is no limit to how many payrolls you can create in the system. The total number of employees entered in each of the active payrolls in the system are counted and compared to the number of employees allowed by the user license allowance, and that's it. Thank you for watching this video. If you found this video useful, please like this page and subscribe to our channel. This will ensure that you are informed of new video releases and updates. For further assistance, please do not hesitate to access this or other topics in our comprehensive help and manual. This is available on the Bellina main menu and also from our website. You can also access information and our support team through our chat platform. Links to our website and chat platform are given on this YouTube channel.